Hey guys, how is it going? Today's tutorial is about creating API automation tests using Pactum.js. The Pactum.js team says that we can use this tool not only for API automation testing, but for integration, component, end-to-end -end and contract testing as well. It also provides a mock server feature. The setup is simple, we only need to install Pactum and Mocha NPM dependencies. As prerequisite, you need Node.js on your machine. You can find the tutorial about how to install it in the description below. Open up a terminal, create a new project folder, initialize npm, Install the dependencies, npm install save dev pactum and mocha. And let's have a look into package.json file to get the confirmation that the dependencies have been added to our project. Great, the setup is ready. Let's go a bit further in documentation to find out more details. Click API testing. And here we have a simple test example. The test sends a GET request to this URL and makes an assertion that the response status code is 200. The request methods that we can use are get, post, put, patch, and delete. We have a hook example, path and query parameters, headers with an example regarding how to use them in a test, We have two examples regarding bodies that we can send in our requests and the first example refers to a body sent like a JSON and the second example refers to a body that we can send in XML format. We got form data, multi-part form data, GraphQL, and authentication example. We have a request timeout that seems to be set to 3 seconds. We have the option to increase the timeout per test or as a default timeout that will apply to all the tests that we have. The same goes for default headers and it seems that we have also a config to set base URL. In the response validation area we have lots of examples that could be also applied as assertions on the response and its structure. For demo purpose, we are going to use the Swagger documentation provided by QA Practice website. Let's start with an API test on Get All Employees Endpoint. We will be sending the request and assert that its status code is 200. 
I opened in Visual Studio Code the project that we created earlier in the terminal. Let's create a new JavaScript test file where we will copy paste the test example from the documentation. I am going to update this test to reflect the QA practice scenario. So, I am changing the test title update the URL that we can take from Swagger and the expected status code and the method type remain the same. Let's see how we can run the test. Open up a terminal and type node modules dot bin mocha and add the path to the test files. Great, our test passed because this command is not so friendly we can map it to a shortcut in the package.json file copy it go to package.json file in the scripts section add a comma in here and create the alias name Pactum.js and paste the command save the file and that's it from now on whenever we run the tests we can simply type npm run pactum.js and under the hood this command will get executed Simple, isn't it? Now we know the drill, so let's create one more automated test using the Qe practice swagger. This time let's use a post request that creates a new employee and assert the response status code to be 201. Copy paste the existing test update its title update the method type it will be post instead of get and the response status code will be 201 Analyzing the swagger, we notice that there are some information required by the endpoint in order to create a new employee. This information needs to be passed as request body in a JSON format. Hence, we are going to create a constant in our test with these details. The ID is optional, so we are going to get rid of it. We need to include these details in our request by adding with JSON step and pass the constant as an argument. Save the file and this is it. 
Let's run the tests and see what happens. npm run tactum.js All the tests passed. Let's make a small refactor. A good practice is to increase the overall default timeout to, let's say, 20 seconds. I'm gonna create a request constant that equals spectrum.request. Request dot set default timeout to twenty seconds. Another good practice is to store the base URL in a single place so you can easily change it according to the environment used for test execution. It could be local environment, dev, staging or production. Request.setBaseURL and we got QA practice Heroku app.com. Paste it in here and we no longer need in our tests. Last but not least, in terms of folder structure, I would create a folder only for the test files. Let's create one called tests and move our JavaScript test file in it. Please don't forget to also update the execution command in package.json. Let's run the test again to make sure that we didn't break anything. Great, all the tests passed.